good evening all mm. welcome to today's session i am dr shama sultana chairwoman of hopin hospitals and also founder of yuvanari healthcare organization so today here we are going to discuss about world suicide prevention day and on this world suicide prevention day we are with also a special people along with us farat sultana ma'am as a speaker and also we will have a special guest in the flow of events so first of all i want to say that i took this opportunity on behalf from yuvanaris healthcare organization so our yuvanaris healthcare organization is specially founded for adolescent and young women uh, health awareness and along with it their social economic problems and everything they should need to understand so a small video about yuvanaris healthcare organization audio it's not audible ma'am i guess founded by dr sham yuvanari's healthcare who is yuvanari she is adolescent girl and men who are the future of nation they are in a journey to pursue their dreams they need courage determination dedication focus and most important health they are surrounded by number of health problems so here is our unary healthcare founded by dr shama sultana which will provide awareness by online webinars health related videos offline high school and college health camps and many more our goal is to reach national wide in 10 years we need everyone's support thank you so this is our mission to come close to the people who should understand adolescent and young women's health so i want to say that along with this yuvanari's healthcare organization we are with ima indian medical association women doctors wing and also yuvanari's healthcare our president ima ap state is giving our giving his message on the occasion of world suicide prevention day i'm very happy to know that UNRI Healthcare and IMA Women Doctor Swing are organizing this teen suicide and prevention online CME program with uh, Dr. Farhad Sultana psychiatrist it is very unfortunate to know that the suicide tendencies are increasing among the youth and teenage people these days due to various reasons and it is high time that all the voluntary organizations doctors government and various sectors of the society come together to create awareness among the teenage and youth to avoid unnecessary suicide tendencies among them and we have to organize awareness programs in college and educational institutions to reduce the suicidal tendencies among youth I am very happy and congratulate Dr. Shema Sultana for organizing this program on online today on the occasion of World Suicide Prevention Day, and I wish the program a grand success and very useful for the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. On the occasion of World. next to this we have dr g himalata ma'am she is a chief person of women doctors wing and from ma'am we have a special message good afternoon everyone i am dr g himalata pediatrician 
Chairperson, I am a woman doctor in Andhra Pradesh. I am very happy to know that URS Health Care and I am a woman doctor in are organizing this CMA program. This MNS program is very useful to everyone. Congratulations to Dr. Shama Sultana for conducting this wonderful program. I wish this program to become a grand success. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Chairperson. Thank you, ma'am. Along with this, we have a special guest like Mission Pink Health Chairperson with us, Dr. P.V. Durgarani, ma'am. Ma'am, over to you. Please give us a few pearls of wisdom. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. A respected Chief Guest, Srimati Shadeen Begum and uh, today's speaker and all the invitees on this virtual platform and Winhope Healthcare Chairman Shama Sultana and the organization people, very good, me good evening to all. And it gives me immense pleasure to be a part of this program. I'm Dr. Durga Rani, Chairperson, Women's Wing Mission Pink Health AP. And this topic is very apt nowadays because suicidal prevention is more common for the last 10 years and along the world it is 2 lakhs above and in India we have 20% and nowadays it is increasing more in young adults and teen people because of depression during studies and economical problems and alcoholism and drug addiction. Why? Because we have chosen this topic is, this is preventable by three methods. By identifying those people who are in a state of committing suicide. By the acts they are doing, like depression, frequent crying, and very much angry, and not listening to anybody. This we can identify and give them a tender loving care. And in schools and colleges, we can avoid ceiling fans by providing table fans. This I had read in the last one week article. And one more thing is we can provide a supplementary exam immediately after the results. So that gives the students a hope that they can pass in the supplementary. And this also may prevent some attempts of the suicide. So we are doing so many awareness programs. And we have to take up this also in our awareness program to prevent suicides and we'll save our future generation. That is the hope and that is the strength of our nation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shama. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. So without any delay, let's start our session and welcome our speaker, Dr. Sheikh Farhat Sultana, psychiatrist. And she is highly skilled and compassionate psychiatrist providing comprehensive mental health care to diverse patient populations and expertise in diagnose, treatment and management of various mental health disorders, including anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. Adept at uh, developing personalized treatment plans, utilizing evidence-based therapeutic interventions and collaborating with multidisciplinary teams to optimize patient outcomes committed to fostering a supportive and empathetic environment for patients while staying current with the latest advancement in psychiatry. She has given presented many papers and organized the annual national conference of Indian Psychiatry Society in 2022 at Vishakapatnam. And she was she is presently a senior resident de-addiction officer in charge and at Government General Hospital Guntur. Over to you, ma'am, and we are eager to listen from you about teen suicides. Thank you. Unmute, ma'am. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for giving me this opportunity. And I would like to thank, thank Dr. Ravi Krishna, sir, and Dr. G. Hemalata, ma'am, and uh, Dr. Durga Rani, ma'am. As Durga Rani, ma'am, already said, uh, he al she also given me the some awareness speech. It was wonderful. So... Um, Without delay, let's start. 
I hope uh, this session will create an awareness about suicides uh, happening around. Uh, and I'm glad to be here to share my bit of knowledge in preventing suicides. So, um, um, ma'am, uh, slides, okay. Next. Uh, so, what is the Su World Suicide Prevention Day? So, uh, it was uh, established in 2003 by International Association for uh, Suicide Prevention in conjunction with the WHO. The 10th of uh, 10th September every year aims to focus attention on the issues, reduces the stigma and raises the awareness. So, uh, our theme, like uh, this is a triennial th theme, like since three years, past three years, the theme was same. That is creating hope through the actions. So what is meant by creating hope through action? Action should be from the both sides. Like not only from the um, uh, like public, it should be from the both sides, like giving a helping hand. And the person having the suicidal ideations or attempt should also reach out us for the help as well. So it should be from the both sides. And uh, this uh, suicide prevention theme, creating hope through actions, uh, it says one in every hundred deaths worldwide is resulting the suicide result of the suicide so suicide can affect uh, does suicide can affect every one of us yes it affects every one of us even uh, we here even me as a, as a other everyone whoever the uh, people are around so it can affect every one of us so each and every suicide is devastating and has a profound impact on those around them so creating hope through action uh, our actions no matter how big or small whether it is big or a small help, it, it is a help. So try helping uh, the people around who is uh, going through some uh, grief or sorrow and try to talk to them. And um, we all we all uh, can play a role in supporting those experiencing suicidal crisis or those bereaved by the suicide. Are the suicidal uh, thoughts are same for all? No. The suicidal thoughts are very complex. Not each individual has the same suicidal uh, thoughts or content. So each individual are suffering maybe from the different aspects of their life. Some may have family issues. Some may have uh, going through some crisis like a uh, exam fail and exam failure or couldn't able to attend an exam. Some may be going through the grief uh, due to the loss of a parent or a family member, even by the loss of a pet. So it's not a, uh, e equal for everyone. It's complex. So next uh, slide, what is the teen suicide? Teen suicides or suicide is when a teen causes her own death on purpose before attempting to take his or her own life. A teen may have thoughts of wanting to die. This is called a suicidal ideation. Like idea of wanting to die is an ideation. He or she may also have suicidal behavior. That's when a teen is focused on doing things that cause his or own life, own death. Suicide is a... So this is the major uh, why we are here to discuss about the teen suicide is suicide is the third leading cause of the death in young people among 15 to 24 years. I guess it has changed now. It is the second leading cause of death in between the age of 15 to 29 years of age. So why should we discuss about the suicide? The in particular, in general, why uh, we are discussing suicides? Because... Um, as you can see in this graph, uh, from 2017 to 2021, uh, there is a rising graph of suicide. This is only recorded uh, deaths by suicide. There are a lot more unrecorded suicides out there. So it's very high number. 12 per 1 lakh people in 2021 died by suicide. So hence, we are here to discuss about the suicides. Next slide. So these are the facts. Uh, the previous slides is uh, Indian statistics and this slide is the world statistics. In the world, one death every 40 seconds is happening due to the suicide. So imagine one death for every 40 seconds is very high and it's high time. So you can see the um, images down there hanging and pesticides and gun. guns are the, uh, these three are the most common methods of uh, committing suicide worldwide. But in India, the most common method of committing suicides are like, by hanging and the pesticides because we are farmers uh, having access to the pesticides. They keep their pesticides in the home. So these two are the common methods of practice in uh, suicide in India. And um, why teens? Uh, in this graph, you can see so, uh, 
this pink one is for indicating the males and the gray one indicating the females as you can see uh, the 15 to 29 year age group has a high peak of deaths by suicide so this is the major age group where uh, people commit suicide and uh, in the graph if you can see the both male and females a ratio is equal in 15 to 29 years of age. As the uh, age grows, males are committing more suicide than the females. Maybe women are like um, getting more coping uh, coping skills as they grow, as they age. Uh, women develop more coping skills uh, compared to men as they age. So, But in the 15 to 29 years, female and male ratio are the same and equal. Both are committing in the same uh, number. So this is why we are here to discuss about the teen suicides. So this is the Indian statistics. One suicide, one student commits suicide for every 55 minutes in India. So as per the National Mental Health Survey, the suicide incidence rate per 1 lakh population in the age group of 14 to 17 is more than the individual average. Like individual average is suppose like uh, 4%, but in the age group of 14 to 17%, it's uh, 9% of uh, people are dying by suicide. So more teenagers die from suicide than the cancer, heart attacks and AIDS. These are all the physical illness. Teenagers are dying by the suicide than their physical illness or by the accidents, even though accidents are happening. But nowadays, the teenagers are dying more from the suicide. So four out of five cases reporting uh, reportedly had uh, clear warning signs. The four out of five suicides are experiencing, uh, expressed their clear warning signs. I'll explain Later, what are the warning signs of the suicide? So, bully teens who are getting bullied by peers or uh, in the school classmates or um, neighbors who are getting bullied or socially challenged, or uh, the teens are likely to commit more su uh, commit suicide more than the other people. So, why teens? Teens are uh, why particularly teens are having this turmoil and. Uh, attempting suicides her teens are going through the profound psychological and neurological changes because this is the age group where the brain is uh, still in the um, uh, immature stage like uh, frontal cortex as we discuss in uh, later like in physiology prefrontal cortex and limbic system are still in the functioning state not in a fully functioning state in the half functioning state so these uh, teens are going through the lot of uh, changes that changes may lead to the stress and strain so um, they, these people are very susceptible to the peer pressure and uh, social advertising even the social media so in the social media uh, the papers newspapers and whatever they um, publish these uh, suicide articles whatever the news is in front of the first page so this also provoke the teens to commit suicide as they copy or mimic the behavior. So copycat phenomena of the behavior because these people, age group people mimic the people around them. So they try to mimic the society. They try to mimic parents, how they behave, the even teens behave in the same manner. So when the media and the social media or the other medias are showing how the uh, suicides are getting committed, they also tend to copy that behavior. If someone is going to die by suicide, the uh, teen also like getting uh, provoked by that uh, news, like uh, I should also do that. These are all the means of suicide. So I um, request the media to stop publishing these uh, suicide and, and articles in front page. Okay, fine. Next, uh, suicide see emotion as real and permanent rather than transient and passing. Uh, compared to the adults, teens see the perception like uh, whatever happening in around is real. They see everything is real. As we age, grow, we can understand who are real, who are fake. But teens couldn't able to understand that. So that creates a lot of stress in the teens. So increasing demand for performance and perfection. This is the pressure of perfection. Like uh, in schools and colleges, uh, the perfect means... He's a good student. So this is the pressure of perfection, which makes making teens more, more vulnerable to uh, attempt the suicides. So difficulty with uh, projecting into the future. This is also uh, origin for the hopelessness in teens. So next slide, risk factors. So what are the major risk factors in for particularly in the two teen suicides? Sir? Majorly, first uh, risk factor is the psychiatric disorders. 
like almost like uh, uh, one article and study shows that majority of the suicides like almost 50 to 60 percent of suicides are due to the a psychiatric disorder psychiatric disorders may be a mood disorder like depression anxiety adhd adhd means hyperactive disorder intellectual disability the teenagers who has low iq compared to the other people and personality disorders as well personality disorders i will explain it later so these are the psychiatric disorders who are prone for the suicidal attempts and suicides so this contributes about 50 to 60 percent of the suicides uh, so we have to take care of these disorders and next uh, risk of recent or serious loss that means uh, death of a parent even a death of a uh, close friend or a friend, uh, family member or a pet. So these also uh, make them vulnerable and uh, makes into the, uh, takes them into the stress. So even the prior suicide attempt is a risk factor. If a person committed suicide in, the, in his uh, history and like previous history, then you should consider it as a risk factor. Yes. And uh, alcohol and other substance use disorders. So recently, teenagers are more prone for the alcohol and um, other substances like even uh, cannabis and methamphetamines, cocaine, these substances. Why they are taking uh, these substances to mask the effects of the um, depression and anxiety. When they are high, they feel very confident uh, so that they are more in taking more alcohol and other substances, which make them more vulnerable to the commit suicide. So next is struggling with the sexual orientation. Yes, this has to be considered in the teens. This is the major age group where uh, gender disorientations happen. So some uh, like teenagers develop sexual disorientation. Like sex will be the same. The gender uh, disorientation will be present. Like uh, how I'm feeling if I am the male, am I sexism female? But my this gender orientation wants to be male so there will be but the society doesn't accept me as a male so that causes a lot of distress in the teenagers what to do because i am feeling my gender as a male but my assigned sex was female but there is a gender disorientation that creates a lot of stress and um, most of them are committing suicide uh, because uh, parents and the society couldn't able to understand that so next is a family history of suicide. Yes, family history, the family history of suicide, whoever committed suicide in their family and um, like uh, father and mother who have mental illness are prone for the suicides. And next is a bullying. We already know bullying in the colleges and the society and the public and everywhere bullying is there. So bullying is a major cause for the initial uh, step for the suicide. So exposure to the family violence or sexual abuse trauma. Yes, sexual abuse is also a major trauma, especially in the girls who had um, sexual abuse, um, child sexual abuse. I had a case, uh, she was 18 years old. She came to my OPD uh, with the intent to die. Uh, mother brought her to me as she, uh, she attempted suicide by taking uh, citrusin pills. Citrusin is available in the home. And one sheet of citrusin like contains uh, 10 tablets. So she took all those 10 tablets. Why the reason no one knows in, uh, in the family that the first attempt she did. When she came to me and she expressed, uh, she felt like um, I want to express everything I want to vent out. It took around three hours to tell her story. Uh, actually, she had a sexual abuse by her own uh, brother, not her own brother, he's a cousin. He's uh, in relation, he's a brother. So she had an abuse around the age of 16 years and she concealed that those um, events and everything uh, and she didn't say anything to their parents or even friends. She hired it uh, in her and she expressed it. And finally, um, she came to help by... She wanted to leave, but she couldn't able to leave because of these uh, depressive factors. And uh, uh, she couldn't able to sleep. She couldn't able to talk to their friends due to the these past uh, um, sexual uh, abuse trauma flashing back in front of her. So uh, she came and eventually she developed uh, the coping skills, whatever strategies. Now she's okay and she's doing now. Uh, she also completed the NEET exam. She got an MBBS seat. She's doing well. So these are all the risk factors to look for in the teenagers. So next slide, ma'am. So this, uh, as you can see, this is a major psychiatric disorders 
that are there uh, for the cause of the suicide so if you can see the major 30 like major depression depressive disorder is the most uh, common psychiatric disorder that leads to suicide so other disorders like um uh dysthymia bipolar disorders and the personality disorder these are all the classification of disorders that may lead to the suicide so next slide ma'am so do they does they exhibit a uh, warning signs yes they do exhibit warning signs without warning signs there is no suicide is there so they do exhibit warning signs what are the warning signs you should look after this is a major important one so please uh, look at it so these are the warning signs you should look for your teens who are uh, who are having the teens around you so you should look for these signs like irritability anger and hostility not only the warning signs are like not going to school and depressed not only the depression is there even he she can he or she can show the irritability anger and hostility and even withdrawal from the friends and family loss of interest in activities talking or writing about the suicide even in the, uh, in the form of pictures in the form of uh, letters and in the form of other uh, art form also they express their uh, suicidal intent just you have to look after their uh, writings and their notebooks to any suicidal notes and nowadays um, these talking and writing is shifted to the social media nowadays the uh, teens are posting uh, their suicidal warning signs in their whatsapp group and even the insta uh, by saying the quotations like I don't want to leave so look after those status too it indicates they are not keeping for the sake of any attention or uh, gaining the publicity if really they are keeping the status like I want to commit suicide that my life is no longer you should take it consideration to look after them so another uh, warning sign is school, school for performance the school perf has gradually decreased uh, recent days means See, he or she is going through something. So talk to your child or teen. So tearfulness or frequent crying. When uh, when surrounded by friends or family, they suddenly start crying and they suddenly become uh, tearful. So ask about the, what's happening uh, in their life. So another side symptom is restlessness and agitation. Uh, like uh, aggression, agitation, even for the trivial things, uh, in, in a small events also they get uh, agitated and uh, irritable on the parents, on the friends, even on the pets. And the fatigue, fatigue also is present and change in eating and sleeping habits, like sleeping habits, like they go, they go to bed, but they won't sleep in the bed. Uh, they stay awake longer periods. You have to notice them. And trouble concentrating on the studies and even on the, whatever their activities, like, uh, the sports activities and uh, music activities, they, the concentration has gradually decreased, means you have to watch for those signs. Unexplained aches and pains. Some teens even complains about the pains and aches, multiple pains, uh, how, uh, these back pain and uh, multiple body aches, even after the repeated assurance by the medical doctor, the pains has not been subsiding, then you should consider it as a warning sign too. So, misuse of alcohol. Uh, the, the misuse of alcohol and drugs has been increased these days. That also a major warning sign. If your teen is going more into the like partying and um, uh, tattooing and uh, he's more into the drugs, then you should uh, see that she, he, he or she is not enjoying. He has been suffering some kind of uh, distress. This might, be a, this might be a warning sign. So, giving away the belongings. The whatever uh, their belongings like favorite toys or favorite things and favorite um, gifted article they, they give away those belongings that also a warning sign so uh, these are all the warning signs you look for in the teens and next slide is a glossary um, uh, next slide yes. So these are the basic terms you should know what is a suicide, assisted suicide. So suicide or complete suicide, it is an act of taking one's own life. Complete suicide means the suicide has been done. So this is the term. Assisted suicide is when one individual helps another bringing about their own death indirectly by providing either advice or the means of the end. Like uh, example, if someone uh, says, um, I committed suicide by taking uh, uh, three pills uh, yesterday night. If the other person came in and uh, he, he would say, uh, take another two, three more pills now, why you take only the three pills? That is also comes under the assisted suicide. You should not uh, encourage or do, uh, say such things uh, if the person has coming to say, I have committed suicide. That is also comes under the assisted suicide. 
so suicidal ideation means that he has he having the thoughts of ending life but he didn't had uh, ended any life. next is a para suicide para suicide is like they don't have an intent to die but they perform the acts of uh, harming themselves by wrist cuts you can you might have seen people having the multiple uh, wrist cuts on their wrist or uh, some other mostly you can see on the wrist um, post cut uh, pain one second ma'am my... oh. yeah so this is the para suicidal mostly para suicidal behaviors are having the personality disorders like uh, personal disorders have para suicidal behavior they could uh, they uh, for their pleasure they don't want to commit suicide but you have to look for the para suicidal behavior too they might sometimes commit suicide so this is the terms i should know um, ma'am next slide uh pathophysiology so what's happening in our brain suicide is not only the uh high psychological it's biological too biological means something is going on in our brain so what's happening is there are the low levels of brain derived neurotrophic factor that is a bdnf are very low levels in our brain that both directly associated with the suicide and indirectly associated associated through their through its load in psychiatric disorders many psychiatric disorders if you see those bdnf factor it's very low in their brains so that contribute to the suicide most of the post mortem studies like uh, completed suicide uh, post mortem studies shown that reduced levels of bdnf in the hippocampus hippocampus is a part of a uh, brain and the prefrontal cortex in those with or without the psychiatric conditions who committed suicide they have the low level of bdnf and the other hormone which is low in the levels in the suicidal uh, patients are serotonin serotonin is a major is a happy hormone serotonin what we call is a happy hormone whenever we are uh, having a good moments and good uh, company the serotonin levels are very high whenever we are you, you are going to some depression or some psychiatric disorder the serotonin levels comes down very low and that Uh, provoke the suicidal uh, ideations or suicidal uh, tendencies so this is go something going in the brain so it's not only uh, psychological uh, it is a completely the balance and the brain the hormones in the brain are going through some chemical imbalance so that has to be balanced by some medications so next slide ma'am uh, drug and alcohol related problems yes Uh, this is the reason that like uh, teens are why uh, teens are uh, using excessive alcohol not only alcohol these days alcohol causing a lot of smell uh, they are shifting to the cannabis and even uh, lsd stickers and methamphetamines cocaine even the fevi bond and fevi call uh, even uh, cough syrups they are getting addicted so teens are tend to increase the underlying mood disorder while providing an initial relief of masking effect because these drugs uh, what they cause is like they mask the effect of those loneliness those helplessness those a worthlessness feeling that masked by these drugs they feel very confident when they take those drugs so eventually if the drug use has increased the vulnerability as goes down and uh, high vulnerable high chances that they commit suicide so drive and increase impulsive and risk taking behaviors uh, who are taking alcohol and drug during the intoxicated stage uh, during intoxicated stage they may commit suicide uh, out of the impulse because uh, under the intoxication we don't know the consequences of the act so we commit uh, suicide out of the impulse so increase the feelings of guilt and self loathing by drug users and uh, interferes it also interferes our neurologically with the healthy decision making and so problem solving we know as we know when we take alcohol we feel very drowsy and we feel uh, less concentrated that leads to more damage to your brain also so um, these are the increases the feeling habit of feeling sorry for yourself creates a sneaky and secretive culture uh these are all the symptoms of uh, teens having uh, drug and alcohol related problems next slide ma'am ha huh. studies on risk factor for non fatal deliberate self harm so non fatal deliberate self harm it uh, i already deliberate self harm in the para suicidal behavior they try to harm themselves in a less lethal way out of impulse they know that if the lethality is more they go and die so they try to make that attempt in a less lethal way by cutting the wrist and uh, they know how to 
uh, uh, cut the waste and then uh, with at the word that uh, I have to cut the waste in the non lethal way of impulsive behavior. These kind of teens are very impulsive. They want to cut their um, body parts out of pleasure. They feel very pleasurable when they cut those bricks uh, and uh, whatever in the other forms of um, harming themselves. So you, if you can see the people having more tattoos on their body and uh, some teens are uh, having uh, ears pricked uh, and Excuse lips me, pricked. And body. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm sending you another link. Please join with that link, ma'am. Uh, if this uh, link expires. Okay, okay ma'am. Now, shall I continue, ma'am? Yeah, please, you can join with other link, ma'am. Same. 